So as you guys see right here, I am in a first person racing map that I made. I'll put the code on screen so you guys can play this map. And I'm going to show you guys how you can build your own right now. So to build in first person, you probably know already. You need to go to the shark gallery and grab this helicopter pad. I'm just going to place this here for now because we won't need it just yet, but you will. If you don't know, once you go into the middle of this pad, you go in first person mode, so you'll be able to use that later. So the first thing you're going to do is you need to build a tunnel. Because for first person, you need to be in a tunnel or else you'll see this all around you and it won't be very good looking. So to build a tunnel, I'm just going to go to the dusty prefab or the dusty gallery and I'm going to grab this arch right here and I'll grab a floor for the um, road so you want to make it four wide or less because that's how big the um, helipad can get so first thing I'm going to do is place a road and make it bigger so that's four. Just like that. Let's see how wide it is. Four. Yeah, it's four wide. And four lengthwise. So let's also make this one bigger. So I'll make it just like that. That's going to be too tall though. Here, let me resize this so you guys can see. And you can either do it this way, or you can have a taller, skinnier um, tunnel if you do it this way. So I'm just going to drop this down like that. So that'll be my tunnel. I'm just going to move this out the way for now. So I'm going to copy and paste this. Let me go to grid snap 4. I'll copy and paste this the whole way through. And before you add your first person, you want to get your tunnel and your, all your roads completely done or else um, this will just get in your way because it's not very fun to try to grab props while inside all of these. So I'm going to quickly add a little bit of detail to this um, little piece of tunnel I built and then add some more to make it a longer path. Okay so I just put a little bit of detail in here. I'm not going to go too crazy for this tutorial. So I'm just going to copy this um, section, just like that. I'm going to copy it with a wall, and then I'm going to attach it to each other, just to make the tunnel longer. Okay. So I'm going to grab this here place it so it is hidden just like that and on grid snap 32 these are not very fun to work with but on grid snap 32 you want to slowly move over Okay, so once you get at least one block's worth, you can copy it along with that and just use the pyramid to go the rest of the way.
Okay, so now I got the helipads through the whole tunnel. Now let's drive through it. There you go. We got first person throughout the whole tunnel. And it looks really nice. It's pretty easy to see. Yeah, that's how you do the first person. I'm going to go to edit mode in my map just to show you guys how I did the whole racetrack. Okay, so now I'm in edit mode in my racetrack. And as you see, I got the helipads going through the whole entire race. So at the start, I got this tunnel here which is in first person and then for the corner it's in first person too this is not as fun well none of it's fun to do dealing with these things but you have to turn a corner and that's just annoying you gotta select them in a batch and just go in a, cir or in a uh, curve then I got this tunnel here it looks pretty cool and then I got a smaller tunnel here to swerve through. And then right here in my map, I have it. You go out of first person to go up a ramp and out into the open. And then you turn back into a first person tunnel until you reach the finish line. So that's it for the first person tutorial. If you need to learn how to do the mechanics and stuff of a racing map, you can watch the videos in my description that other people have made of it because I did not make one for myself. And thank you for watching, hope I helped.